Hi, my name is Brandon Howell and I handle technical marketing with Intersil's Digital Power products. Today, we're going to be talking about Power Navigator, specifically the new and improved Power Navigator Power Map. Um, to help me demonstrate that, I've got uh, several of our demo boards um, connected to my PC here. I have a uh, ZL6105 single phase demo board, a uh, ZL8800, this is a dual output controller, a uh, ZL8801, this is a dual phase controller. Um, they're all connected, uh, all the PM bus interfaces are tied together, and then I have a uh, white uh, PM bus to a USB adapter, uh, which plugs into my, my PC here, and I'm able to use Power Navigator to communicate with these devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch uh, Power Navigator. Um, so as that comes up, um, the first thing Power Navigator does it goes out, goes out, it uh, scans the bus, and detects any hardware that I have connected. Um, so it's found my three demo boards, uh, which show up on the left-hand side here. Um, I'm gonna hit start, and when I hit start, that brings me to the Power Navigator uh, homepage here. Um, so on the Power Navigator homepage, uh, right in the center is our new and improved uh, power map. Um, so the, the power map in this version of Power Navigator um, has more information than we've shown in previous versions. Um, it also adds a, a zoom feature. So if I, if I zoom in on one of the controllers here, uh, this is the ZL6105. Uh, the new power map, it tells me what the device is, how many phases there are, what the current output voltage is, what the current load current is. It has a rail name. I can actually change these rail names uh, to make them more descriptive. Over here, it shows me the address that is at. So this one's at a PM bus address of 18. It also shows me if this device allows current share. So in this case, I can current share up to four different ZL6105s uh, to make a four-phase application. If I um, zoom back out uh, to my power map here, uh, I can also add uh, loads. So the whole idea of the power map is to be a, a visual representation of uh, your system. So I've just added a load from my part library here. If I double click on that, I can actually make the load have multiple inputs. Um, as an example, if this was a, uh, an ASIC in a typical user system, uh, usually an ASIC has multiple inputs, not just one, you know, sometimes three up to four, sometimes more inputs. Um, in this case, I've added three inputs. Uh, I can add another rail. Maybe this will be my auxiliary rail. I'll put this one down here. Um, this is my load for that. If I right click on the power map, I can tell it's a auto wire all of these lines. So I've gone ahead and I've, I've auto wired everything. So now I've got a nice visual representation of uh, what my actual system looks like. Um, it just makes using the GUI a lot easier because at a glance I can tell exactly what rail is powering what, um, what rail I'm communicating with, um, and those are just some new features of the new power map. Um, the last thing is uh, with the new power map, if I double click on one of these devices, I uh, bring up something we call the rail inspector. Uh, the rail inspector is how we go through and actually configure these devices. So with rail inspector, I can configure my output voltage, uh, my input voltage, my load current, all my fault settings, my switching frequency, um, all that can be configured with this new rail inspector. I can save, I can load configuration files. Um, it just makes interfacing with all the devices a lot easier. So that's a quick overview of our new power map and rail inspector tools. Uh, for more information, please visit www.intersil.com. And for Power Navigator specific uh, information, that's www.intersil.com slash Power Navigator.